We are building an autonomous rover that can drive and navigate on the beaches and collect plastic pellets. My name is Simon and I'm a software engineer here at TriFog Esbjerg and I've worked as such for eight and a half years here at TriFog. As part of those years, we have helped a few of our customers with their own rover projects and led them to success. In my spare time, I enjoy working on those kind of machines myself and have a lot of fun doing so. Uh, it's exciting to build a rover of this kind because it contains many parts that I'm passionate about. We have both the mechanical, the electrical and the software side of things and the interplay between all of those parts. This project aims to use technology with helping to clean the beaches. On a beach you will find a lot of small plastic particles. These are only half a centimeter in size and originate from pa plastic pallet production. My role is to develop a driving prototype base. So that basically means the four wheels and all the core electronics that need to be in place to have something that can navigate securely on sand. I'm now going to explain some of the central components that we have in our rover. So the central part of our rover is obviously the PC. Here we rely on an industrial PC with a lot of processing power. It is specifically designed for AI applications, so we can reliably process our video streams and search for the plastic particles that we're looking for. Another important part is communication and connectivity to the rover. This is just an antenna, but we rely on 4G and good GPS signals for doing our task on the beach. Our rover obviously needs a way to move. And for this, we have some brushless motors and shooting gearboxes. Another important aspect of the rover is the vision. We have a multiple of cameras mounted on the robot, both traditional cameras and depth sensing cameras that allow us to observe the surroundings. And finally, to make the rover move, we need some suitable tires. These are balloon tires that are specifically designed for beaches. One of the big challenges with building a rover is that you have a lot of different parts that need to interact with each other. You have different sensors and you have motors and all of these need to interplay with each other. The rover needs to live up to a few requirements that are hard to live up to. Firstly, you need to navigate and drive on very loose surfaces as beaches and you need to do so reliably. But also, the, the rover needs to identify particles that are very hard to spot even by human eye. We will test the rover on a beach. However, individual components can be tested in the lab or even virtually so we can prevent errors before we go out. Currently, the rover is lacking some vital electronics and a suitable enclosure. Once we have those sorted, we can take the rover for a drive on a beach and hopefully reiterate the design to get a better prototype.